two Jamaican men charged for scamming elderly women. Two Jamaicans who were employed at a country club in Florida but were unable to return to the island due to the coronavirus related closure of the island's borders have been charged for swindling elderly persons in a latter scam. The accused, 27-year-old Dylan Johnson and 26-year-old Neville Taylor, has been jointly charged with three counts of deposit checks with intent to defraud according to the news release from Collier County Sheriff's Office in Florida. According to future reports from NBC2 News, in November last year, the Jamaican went to the United States to work as a contract server at a country club in North Naples, Florida. On April 1st, their employment contract was terminated due mainly to lockdowns caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The men were reportedly unable to return to their homeland due to Jamaican's ear and sea port being closed. On May 5, questions surrounding the financial activity of Johnson and Tyler were raised by the First Florida Integrity Bank where they each had their accounts. The bank subsequently informed Financial Crime Bureau detectives about suspicious deposits being made into a bank account held by Johnson and Taylor. The funds were also being moved to a different bank account in their names as other institutes, NBC2 News reported. The Collier County Sheriff's Office said the elderly and vulnerable victims were informed that they had won a large cash prize and they would need to send funds into the form of checks to an individual to verify their bank information in order to deposit the money they reportedly won. Officers in Florida said that their probe reveals that a 72-year-old San Francisco-based woman with a long-term traumatic brain injury sent Johnson two checks valued at a total of 5,500 US. In addition, Johnson allegedly received a cashier's check of 5,000 from an 85-year-old woman in West Virginia on May 4th. With respect to Tyler, he reportedly received three checks from a 95-year-old woman in North Carolina who had no recollection of sending any cash to him. He was said to have received a check for $1,700 US on March 23 and $1,500 US check on March 30 and $1,000 USD on April 21 from an elderly woman. Additionally, investigators said Tyler benefited from 1,200 US checks he received from an 84-year-old woman. Another elderly Texas woman, age 84, allegedly sent Tyler two checks with the amount of 4,500 US. The date when the Jamaicans received the checks were not revealed by the authorities. Following a probe, Johnson and Taylor was later apprehended and charged. They are to appear in the Florida courts as of a, a later date. Welcome again people. Remember to leave a comment below and share and like the video and subscribe for more great content and remember to check out one of our suggested videos on the screen. Until next time, peace.